Rob Bruno, he called me out in a comment on one of my recent videos. And he said I needed to up my game that I was missing the boat on artisan soaps and gear. Your comment really hurt? It hurt, it, it hurt me so bad, Rob. It hurt me so bad, Rob. The comment hurt real bad, Rob. I have to upgrade my wet shaving game. I blame Rob Bruno. Alright guys, this video is going to be dedicated, no, dedicated actually is the wrong word, blame. For this video, I'm going to blame Rob Bruno <laughs> and for many videos after it for putting a hole in my wallet. <laughs> Rob Bruno, a viewer for a while, great guy from Vegas. So he rolls up on channel, calling me out, saying he's disappointed in me and my lack of exploration of artisan shave soaps and grooming products. Called me out. He was really pretty stern. You gotta get into the artisan soap game. What's wrong with you? So if you wanna get into the artisan soap game and you're anywhere near New York City, you have to go to Pastor Pharmacy because that is like the wet shaver's dream. So let me go through what I'm gonna be doing today, the shave I'm gonna be doing, because this is actually a product I've been looking at uh, for a long time. Henson Shaving, these guys are advertising you to death on like Instagram, on Facebook, everywhere. They do a great job of marketing their product. This is the AL13, it's an aluminum double-edged razor and it's made and machined and I love this guys right here in North America up north in Canada precision machined now if you know anything about me guys you know I love marketing but I'm not too big on research I will get you more information but this is their AL 13 beautiful razor very light this is in the tan and the mild head. So they make two versions of their aluminum uh, double edge. The two versions are mild and medium, all right? They do make a titanium version, which I asked them today. If they had three or four heads, they make a titanium version. I haven't taken a look at it, but that comes in three different settings or three different aggressive heads or three different head types, aggressive, medium, and mild. But I have the mild today. I'm gonna put an Astra blade in this and we're gonna get cooking with that for Rob Bruno. But Rob Bruno told me to get into the shaving game, the artisan game. And what better way to start than Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, the beach, classic shaving soap with their CK6 formula. Now guys, I'm new to the game. So I reach out to folks when I need to reach out to them for knowledge. And Jimmy G told me that their CK6 formula is just top notch, top of the line, better ingredients that, that make it slicker, right? That make it a better shave. So we're gonna be using the beach today. Now, right off the tip, I smell this. It's bright and it has oh, just a very wonderful smell. But when you really sit back and smell it, you smell the beach. It's sort of like a mixture of suntan lotion, sand, ocean spray. <laughs> it's just wonderful, beautiful. Look at that. And this beautiful graphic. Now, PAA, as they're referred to, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. They do an awesome job of marketing. They do an awesome job of making these great varieties and naming the products. And from what I've heard, they make a damn good soap and other products. And I'm gonna be using their aftershave, one of their aftershaves. Now they do have a companion aftershave, 
But I figured since I was at Pasteur in New York, I would pick up the Pasteur Pharmacy and Phoenix. There, they got together and made this Battle of New York City, the Battle of NYC. This is an aftershave in cologne, so that's going to be my aftershave. But guys, this is amazing, amazing. So I will be picking up the Companion Shave Soap in the near future. Rob Bruno is going to make me broke. He's going to break my house. Thank you, Rob. Blame Rob Bruno. So I'm going to get in the shower. I'm going to kick it off, guys. I'm telling you, Mr. 1920. Mr. 1920 Natural Cold Press Soaps. It's a revelation. If you have not tried this yet, guys, there's going to be a link in the description box below. They actually have me on their website. I have my own suggested bundle. I'll leave a link to that as well. But guys, handmade, cold pressed, wonderful soap, no chemicals, no plastics, no gunk that you don't need, just all natural, made in America. Made in America. All right, so I'm gonna jump in the shower. I'm gonna get clean with the Mountain Sage. You can see I've used this a little bit, but they come in five ounce blocks, guys, and uh, it's just amazing. It leaves a nice moisturized barrier of protection on your skin. It's awesome for the face, for the body. I even throw it into my hair, what I have left from time to time. So I'm going to jump into the shower. I'll steam up and we'll get ready for the shave. Rob Bruno. Let's not get into that. <clears throat> All right, fresh out of the shower. Feeling very, very nice. I'm running probably about a week's worth of growth, guys. I've been so busy this week. So I've got pretty healthy stubble for this Henson razor. Okay, so for this shave, I'm also going to be using a premium brush from Pacific Shaving Company. Awesome. It's cork, natural cork, synthetic badger hair. Very, very nice. What I love about this, this actually floats. It's soft to the touch, but it has a spine, so it's light. I love the filament the synthetic badger hair is premium guys remember i will leave a link for all these products in the description box below uh, the beach so i chatted with doug from paa online guys if you have any questions get on to the paa website there's a little chat bot it's not a bot it's doug or someone very closely associated to the brand and they answer any questions you have. So if you're like a, a newbie like me, get to Doug. All right, so it smells so good, guys. Now, what I love about this brush also, with the synthetic hair, you don't need to wet soak it. Just a little bit of near hot water. Load the brush up. Just a few swirls, some more water and i'm just going to go right to the face lather oh yeah that's nice guys oh this is really nice lathers up wonderfully even for a noob like me wonderful smell again the beach so Doug getting back to Doug Doug was telling me that this is the first true beach shave soap or scent and he was proud of that and I'll tell you what Doug I'm proud of you too bruh oh yeah that's wonderful wonderful Look at that, guys. Nice, rich lather. All right, two firsts, guys. The Henson AL13. Now, if you look closely at it, look at the way that's designed. That blade just fits neatly in there. 
I'm wondering if there's just going to be a little bit of a different feel to this, but hey, let's go for it. First pass with the grain of the hair on my face. Oh, nice and light, guys. Very, very nice. Very smooth. Now, even though this is the mild head, you can change that with the type of blade you put in it. So if you put in a sharper blade, let's say a feather blade, you're gonna dial up the aggressiveness in that way. Very protective, very secure. feel to this. I would say it's slightly different than your traditional double edge in the approach. So you've got to work that out. To hit that sweet spot. You know, typically 30 to 35 degree angle for approach. Very, very nice. Trying to become ambidextrous. An ambidextrous shaver. Especially if it's helpful over here. You know, getting here on the straight pass is somewhat difficult. And this is the perfect razor for it because there is lots of protection, guys. Missed a spot. First pass in the books, and this soap is heavenly. All right, Rob Bruno, I forgive you, bro. I, wish, I want to open this up and show you. This beautifully machined plates here. See the back there? Just beautiful. And light as a feather, guys. And typically, I like some heft when I'm shaving. But the fact that this is whisper light really hasn't been a downer for me. It's been very nice. Look at that. Just beautiful. All right, a little bit more near hot water. We'll lather up again. We'll do a cross green pass for pass number two. Ah, beautiful. Guys, I am not an expert 
If you have ideas, if you see me doing something wrong, if you just want to heckle me, leave a comment below. Oh, it's wonderful. Wonderful. I am on my way to becoming a shaving soap snob because of Rob Bruno. Oh, yeah. I hate you, Rob Bruno. And my woman's going to hate you too, bro. I've got so many products in the bathrooms in this place that she wants to kill me. I'm hiding stuff. I'm hiding razors and aftershave. And now it's going to be artisan soaps. I'm probably going to have every PAA soap that they make. When they drop a new one, I'll be like, Doug. And it's all because I Rob Bruno. Look at that. Look at the slickness. The thickness. <sighs> Rob Bruno's gonna get me into trouble. All right, second pass, cross grain. You know what to do. I love this razor. On the second pass. On the second pass, the cross grain pass, it hopped to life. So once it got away from that thick stubble, which I would normally take off with one blade, Oh, guys. This is a beautiful razor. I feel confident. The slimness of it allows you to get up into the nooks and crannies, even with the large nose that I have. mild but you have contact it's like the very minimal cutting tip of that blade is precise precisely where you need it and the fact that this is light There's no fatigue in holding this. You know, as you get older, guys. Like me, I'm an old dude. As you get older, it can get harder to hold certain things. It's just a fact of life. Some of those bulky razors, especially on the DE side, can, you know, give you a little bit of strain. Second pass in the books, guys. And I am loving this razor and this PAA soap. Look at that. Oh. All right, so now another layer or another splash of near hot water. Oh, that's beautiful. And we're going to go same. I haven't reloaded this. Same 10 or 12 swirls of the beach, guys. And I'm going for my third and final pass today. Oh, yeah. This brush is nice too for an old dude or young, but it's light. Again, fatigue. If you're swirling it around in a bowl, you're not hearing the clickety clack. It's nice and light, soft in the hand. Oh, yeah. 
just work that lather. Could add a little bit of water probably. Just a little bit. Or what do I know? All I know is I'm having fun. All right, third, final pass coming up against the grain. Beautiful. I am a believer, Rob Bruno. The folks at PAA, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Jimmy G has told me about you guys. I think he had CAD, C-A-D, the wow signal. You guys have been trying to get me here, but Rob Bruno shamed me into it. All right, here we go. Flip the blade and shave up. Yeah, you got to find that angle with this razor. There you go. I have the... I have the cream a little too dry. But there you go. All right. It's all learning, guys. And that's the fun part. Oh, yeah. The Henson razor. Yeah. It's solid, guys. Love it. Highly recommend it for a noob. If you're thinking about learning how to wet shave, this would be a, a nice razor to start with. Get the mild head. It's ultra protective. There's some science going on or engineering. Precision. Now you can grab yourself. You can cut yourself. You don't want to use too much pressure. And that's what I was trying. I'm finding, trying to find the hairs. Trying to find them. That's the way you'll get yourself nicked up. This shave is in the books, guys, and it's a wonderful one. Wonderful shave. Now, if I were Jimmy G, I'd be trying to overbuff. I'd be BBS searching. I'm pretty, pretty clean right now. I'm a casual guy. So I'll splash off now with some cold water, and I'll get ready for the maid, maiden voyage of the Battle of New York after shave and cologne from PAA and Pastor Pharmacy. Okay, this beautiful bottle here, beautiful scent. The Battle of New York. Battle of NYC. <sighs> oh, yeah. Oh, very nice, guys. It's so delicious, I'm going to take a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. Rob Bruno, I'm in trouble, bro. All right, this is the fundraising portion of today's shaving video. Because of Rob Bruno, I will now be forced to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on fine artisan shaving soaps, aftershave, cologne, all kinds of stuff. So if you could possibly spare a dime or $100,000, <laughs> guys, Awesome shave today, awesome. 
First off, Henson, AL13, beautiful. Love this, guys. Nice and light. They have a mild head. They have a medium head. Whichever head you get, get it. Henson, you can get this at Pastor Pharmacy or Pastor Shaving Online. I'll leave a link below. You can pick this up. That'll be awesome. Can't say enough about this beautiful brush from Pacific Shaving Company. Guys, the beach, the CK6 formula from PAA. And Doug, you knocked it out of the park with this, guys. A beautiful summertime, just awesome, delicious. I can't say enough. Great shave. Guys, I'll leave links for all this stuff below, either at Amazon or at Pastor Pharmacy, wherever you get it. Get it. I blame Rob Bruno. As always, I want to thank you for watching. I will see you next time, which will probably be like tomorrow or the next day or in a week. But in the meantime, you know what to do. Keep pushing play. Now, Haley, roll the music. Thank <laughs> you.